All right, in this video, we're gonna look at how to make a picture clock, and that's gonna be a clock that has these pictures as your images to show you the time. And as you can see here, each one's changing in correspondence to the actual time that we see here. These are the 10 images that I'm using. I picked these up off of Google Images, uh, images that were labeled for reuse or modification. So let's go ahead and KOWP and have a look. I have all of this stuff inside of a component. So inside of my component, I have 10 globals and the 10 globals that you want very important you want to name them 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 and all of these are bitmaps so when you go to add a global make sure you pick bitmap and name it 0 then go pick your 0 image name it 1 go pick your 1 image and so forth very important that you name it these right here so over in the items what I want to talk about the reason why it's important to name your globals 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, all the way up to 9 is because we're going to use the global variable name in our code to get these parts of time, if that makes sense. So I'm just going to go into this text item right here, and I'm going to talk about, I'm going to get rid of the DF stuff right now. Let's just do DFHH. And what that's going to return are the two digits for the time, and right now it's 418, so it says 04. Well, what I want to do is I want to cut each individual number out separately. So for DFHH, if I want to get this first digit in the HH function, I'm going to do text converter. That's TC. You can find all these functions in the little function list below. And I want to cut. So TC, I want to cut. So inside of parentheses, I'm going to type cut put my comma, and I want to cut the DFHH function, which is 04, and then after that, I'm going to put a comma, and I want to see only the first piece of that, so I'm going to type a 1, and I'm going to close that up with the parentheses. What that's going to do now is it's going to cut the first digit from the DFHH function, and recall it was, let me come down here and just let me do DF. HH, close it up, and it's cutting that first digit. Now you may think, okay, if I want to cut the second digit, I'm going to do a two. Well, that's not what you want to do. That's going to cut the first two digits. Well, what you can do, since there's only two digits here, if we do negative one for the second one, it's going to start from the left and it's going to cut the first digit from the, I said the left, but it's going to start from the right and it's going to cut the first digit from the right. So again, if we want to cut the first digit here, we do a one. If we want to cut the second digit, which is going to be the first one from the right, we do a negative one. So as you can see, that was changing between a zero and a four. Now, what we want to do with this, we want to, as you can see, this is returning numbers. You know, for example, if I just do the zero here. So if I do that, and now watch what happens. Now that I have my global variables named zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, this is a zero, so if I want to return the picture of zero, I would do GV, global variable, and if I put all of this stuff in parentheses that I just did, it's going to return GV zero, or whatever digit you're cutting. So since all of this stuff, let me show you that again now. Let me delete the GV and this parentheses. Since this is zero, and then if I put all of this in parentheses like that, and then I do GV in front of it, it's going to do GV0 or to do GV1, GV2, or whatever digit it is in that particular point in time. So with that said, it's the same code for minutes and seconds. I don't know why the heck my keyboard's not going away. There we go. So I don't have that showing there, but now let me come into the pick clock and show it to you. So inside of here, I have all these images set up inside of a stack group, and it is a horizontally centered stack group. And the square, I just use a square here to keep them all the same size. And it's very important that these pictures that you create, make sure they're somewhat the same size. That way one won't be, you know, astronomically larger or smaller than the other one. So as you can see, all these are fairly uniform, I guess you could say. So I'm using a square to keep them all relatively the same size. Under FX, I'm changing the texture to bitmap for that square. And then we go to our bitmap and you want to make sure you check on it and put the little calculator tool up there. So when you do that, notice I have here uh, DFHH and then I have the one. Well, this is that same code. What it's going to do is it's going to cut the first digit from the hours, the two digit hours. So right now it's 04 since it's four o'clock or 422 rather, but it's going to cut the zero. And since I have the GV, it's going to return GV zero, which is this global image that I have for GV zero. And then if I want to get this second one here, let me back out of here. 
Now I'm on the second one. It says a three, but it's really a four. It, it's just the advanced editor's not loading it up like it should be, which is no big deal. It'll be all right. As you can see, it is four. And this will return a four if I save and go back to the home screen. But I'm really just copying and pasting what I did here. I'm gonna copy and paste it into my horizontally centered stack group. I'm gonna go to its FX. And instead of me cutting the first one, I wanna cut the second one. And remember I mentioned that a moment ago, it's negative one because that's gonna be the first one from the right, the first one from the end, if you wanna think about it like that. And this code is going to be the same for all of these, except maybe you're thinking now, okay, well, how do we get the minutes? So let me come over here to this uh, minute here, this five, and it's not really a five, it's supposed to be a two, but again, the advanced editor is not loading it like it should be, it'll be all right. So now the only thing I'm changing here is I want the first digit in my minutes. So DFMM is gonna return your two digit minute. So we want to cut the first one from it. And then for the second one, make sure all of these are images. And like I said, I'm using them inside of squares. And then if I come to this second one right here, I'm going to do over FX for that square. Texture is bitmap. I want to cut the second one, so I'm going to do the negative one. And then for the seconds, you guessed it, it's going to be a DFSS code. And let me show you that to round things out here. So we have that five. I'm going to go over to FX. And notice it's DFSS. I want to cut the first one and just make sure you're doing this code correctly, the TC text converter, and you want to cut some text as I mentioned back at the beginning of this tutorial. And then the DFSS to round things out is going to be this one right here where we want to cut the second digit and it's going to be DFSS negative one as long as we're using our text converter code as you can see right there. And once you have all this set up, of course, right in between all of these, I just have you know two circles to represent my colons between the each little time piece. But and you may say, well, these don't look right. They're not syncing up. Like the minutes don't look the same, the hours don't look the same. But if I just uh, save this and I go back to the home screen, it's going to show correctly on the home screen. So sometimes if you're just getting into KOWP, the advanced editor will not show you the exact same thing that you would expect to see on your home screen. But still, for the most part, it does a good job. And there you have it. That's how you can get a PNG clock using images for your digits. And that's it for this video. I hope it helped.